Hello, my name is Stephen, better known to some of you as Professor Green. But today I'm becoming a copper and being thrown into a live murder mystery. I've got no script and no idea what's going to happen to me. So wish me luck as I try and solve a murder in Successville. Welcome to Successville, a town full of celebrities. Sometimes the famous faces that live here break the law. And when they do, I'm here to bring them down. I'm D.I. Sleet. On my passport under profession, it just says rule breaker. And on the date of birth, it says, mind your own goddamn business. Sure, it makes international travel incredibly difficult, but that's just the kind of guy I am. Hey, I just made you a cake. Just a small gesture. Oh, nice. Hey, uh, Mr. Girls, well done on your promotion. Cake? I made you a cake because I think you're amazing. Sending cleaning pious, holier than thou piss drinking. What? <laughs> you okay? Something grinding in your gears, Chief? What's up? Bare fucking grills. Who else? On you, soon to be police commissioner. Oh, let us all bow, you twat. <laughs> Chief, I mean, this is all a bit OTT, don't you think? Chillax. What's that? Ah, nothing. Just, just the cake I made for the new commissioner. Just say, well done. Hey, you know what else I got? This. Best bit of all. You have the right to remain sexy. Oh, very politically astute, Slate. Thank you, Chief. Thank you very much. Rookie? Hi. How are you doing? You all right, mate? Yeah, I'm OK, mate. Yeah? yeah What's yeah. your name? Stephen. Stephen. Hi, Stephen. This uh, hulking, brown-nosing toad is D.I. Sleet. He's your boss for today. You two should get on like a house that's actually on fire. Mmm. Is that grenadine? Yes, it is, sir. Mm. Well, well noticed. Uh, Delicious. A little bit of saffron, a bit of mm. brandy really mm. brings it Just out. Just like my mother makes it. Well, that's just your mother's recipe. What? Well, we hook up on Mum's net. She gives me recipes, knitting, knitting tips. He knows, your, he knows your mum? Yeah, yeah. She's a hell of a woman, let me tell you. You know, I mean, she's nothing much to look okay, at. So stop, but, stop. Uh, she's got a lovely personality. Stop talking to the rookie yeah. about my mother, please. You should phone her more. I want you two <laughs> to get down to the press conference right now for our beloved new police commissioner, yes, and make sure that nothing untoward happens to him like him choking on his own sanctimonious bullshit, yes? Right, Stephen, let's see what our new commissioner has in store for this city of sin. Hey, do you want to get some donuts on the way? I want you to think of successful as an ocean. Once teeming with life, but now a layer of scum has formed over the top of the water, blocking out the light. It's in a state of decay. Criminals look down on us from their ivory towers. Pricks. So much so that we rely on a masked vigilante, the Rat Man, to protect us. Oh, that sounds pretty cool, huh? And worst of all, there is an enemy at the gates of Successful, and their name is the Termite. And I, along with a few good, brave men, Did he put, he put an enemy then, right? intend to stamp the Termite out! Yes! Well said, Commissioner. Well said. Like this here. Stephen, to him. Everybody out, out, out! Don't you write about this? I'll blow your head off. Get back to sleep. Get out. Are you the termite? Are you the termite? Listen to me. I have whittled the identity of the termite down to three people. Those three people are on that bit of paper. Acid is making my internal organs fail. My ability to narrate what is happening to me, diminishing. Tell Sleet that I believe in him. I will. And that he carries himself well for a big man. You're like that. Catch the term, mate. Oh, that didn't actually work out as cool as I thought it would. <laughs> <sighs> Did he say anything, Stephen? He said you carry yourself very well for a bigger man. Did he really say that? Yeah. We must give this man the send-off he deserves. Right. Out the way. 
Betsy, his wife, is going to be devastated. Poor bloke. Come here. Now get this man the dignity he deserves. Give this man the dignity he deserves. Coming through. Coming through. Coming through. I'm actually all. I'm just regretting. Now just, right, that's right, it. Right. Let's, put, let's put him down. So, yeah. Sophie, so good. Are you okay? No, I'm worried about. I know he's Don't dead. Don't worry, but... it's fine. Let's get him out. It's easier if we get him by here. It's I know fine. He's dead, but we are going to catch the termite if it's the last thing we do. First name on Grill's list: corrupt tech billionaire Piers Morgan. Time to dance the undercover jig once more. Look at them, disgusting worms, crawling through their sad little lives, staring down at the ground, waiting to die. That's why I built this tower, to give them something to aspire to. You're quite fat, aren't you? Me? Look at you, fat, so. You fat, silly butterfly oh, flapping your grubby wings <clears throat> in my office. I'm... I ought to pull off those fat wings and stick you to the wall, didn't I, fat so? Well, what have you got to say to that prick? Well, I'm not actually a butterfly. No, I didn't say you were. I said you're like a butterfly, you idiot. I... Okay. Did you overeat as a child? No, I mean, I was... Was it because of the relationship with your mother? What? Your Oedipal relationship where you subconsciously wanted to have sex with her? I, I can assure you, you that... You wanted it... to have sex with your own mother, didn't no, you? I... <clears throat> no, I didn't. What does your mother do? She's sexy. Sex... Sexy? Yeah, she's a sexy... She's a sexy she's mummy. A se she's a typist, sir. She's a typist, sir. Good, honest typist. Interesting. Ah, oh, it's a hell of a view you have up here. It's beautiful. Mm. I practically own this city. I suppose Commissioner Grills was going to change all of that with his... Don't mention that filthy name in here. <clears throat> Commissioner Grills was taking us back to the Dark Ages. He was against progress. Businesses must go forwards and upwards. OK. What is it that brings you up here into the realm of the gods, anyway? Well, I am nothing but a simple robot salesman by the name of Robert. Rob, Robert. Uh, my name is Robert. You're Robert. a robot salesman by the name of Robert Salesman. I am a robot salesman by the name of Robert Salesman. You're a robot salesman by no, the name of Robot No, salesman. I sell robots. Well, which Robert. one is it? Robot well, uh, or Robot? My name is Robert It's very salesman. confusing. Well, if you let me explain, it's not actually that hard. What's this? This is my prototype, my life's work. This is Frank. Hmm. It's a funny-looking thing, isn't it? It's... I thought they were meant to be physically impressive. Well, it's actually very realistic. It has almost human skin. How do you turn it on? Just with its right nipple. Would turn you... it on, then. Don't muck about. Do it. Come on, Pratt. It's not coming on. Frank. 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 Oh. Oh, sometimes oh, it works with good. a click. Very good. So what can this... Robert of yours do. Ro this is a robot. I'm Wrong Robert. nipple. What? what? Wrong nipple. Wrong nipple. Oh, yes, I was pressing the... You pressed the wrong... Well, press the correct nipple then, please, Dick Splat. Oh, no, I've turned him off. You've turned him off again. What's the point <laughs> of you, you ugly freak? You ought to be in the circus. Turn him on, then. Yep. There he is. Open for business. You were telling me what it could do. It can do things, can't it? It doesn't well, just stand there looking warm. Of course it can do things. This is one of the most... I wouldn't put that on display if I were you. I'd do everything I could to hide I'm it. I'm sorry, mate. You ought to wear a fucking corset. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the robot laughing? He's built with manners and laughter. Two of my favourite things. Two things I'd like you to eradicate immediately if I buy one well, of these. Well, I can't delete them, because I think they're important. But you're an idiot. Well, I'm not nasty like you are. I'm not nasty. I just tell the truth. I tell what I see. And I see a big barrel of cream cakes covered in skin. And I don't like it. I haven't laughed my entire life. I stopped laughing the day I earned my first pound. It's a sign of weakness. Can it kill a man? <coughs> what? I wanted to kill this pesky rat man. Well, I've heard the rat man is anything but a pesky. In fact, he's a durable and sweet saviour of this city. Unlike the termite. Do you know anything of the t t termite? Yes, I do. I understand that they're a cop killer. A sadist. Mother killed in a botched police operation. Stepfather drank, beat them, starved them. Rumour has it they grew up in an abandoned timber mill. Right. 
They had to eat the wood to survive. Like a termite. Huh? Like a termite. Very clever. You're not just a big chunk of flesh after all, are you? Well. You big blob. I don't think I'm interested. On your way, Mr. Robot Salesman. Take your robot and dump it in the river. I don't ever want to see it again. I've never brought anyone down here before, Stephen. But I have a secret to tell you. A secret I've never told anyone. Do you know what it is? I'm Ratman. <laughs> what? You're the masked vigilante? Yes. I'm... Sod off. What do you mean, sod off? What's so <laughs> unbelievable about that? Follow me. What is so funny about that? Well, I mean, it. it... I am the masked vigilante that keeps this city safe. You know. You're not joking. No, I'm not joking. This is serious. All right, all right. We're up Please. against a termite. Okay. To catch a supervillain, you mean? must be a superhero. Okay. I've got to a point where I can't do it on my own. Will you be the mouse to my rat? More specifically, will you be the door mouse to my rat? Yeah, go on then. I thought you'd be a bit more excited. I genuinely thought I showed you all this cool stuff. You'll walk down here and go, what? 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 And you're like, oh, yeah, cool, whatever. No, I went up for it, of course. I can see it in you. Are you ready for this? I am. Then get your squeak on. Follow me. There's my weapons war. Right. If we're truly going to be rodents of the night, the night must become the day, and the day must become the night. Oh, for crying out loud. That would have been really cool if we had got away with that. Thank you, Lowcroft. That was supposed to be really cool. What? I was just doing a thing with the lights. Hey. Who are you? Who do I look like? Dormouse, mate. Nah, mate, not anymore. I'm afraid he's taking it off you. Sorry, said. Let me take this. You can't take Dormouse it's... off me. It's quite warm. I've been you... doing this for 15 years. Badly. We built all this together, mate. Well, yeah, I mean, I did a lot of the hard labour. Like, we even wrote the Ratman theme tune together. We have a theme tune. You'll have to learn it. Are you any good with singing? No. Ratman rising, rising from, from the sewer. sewers. Ratman, Rat his bite has no cure. cure. Ratman, Rat totally he takes free, free from, from diseases. diseases. Ratman, Rat he does, does as he pleases. pleases. Oh, God. Well, shit. Oh, we've had some good times. Yeah. But, um... It can't be anymore. Stephen's young and virile, full of fire. Look at you, Sid. With your superhero powers, you have asthma. You get car sick. You're the only superhero I know who wears a sports bra. Your day's up, kid. It's disappointing. Go and make us a cup of tea. Yeah? Yeah, milk, two sugars, please, mate. Two sugars, mate. Good little lad. Go on, run along now. Good lad. Cheers, Sid. Oh, Sid, Sid, of course. Um, the mask for what? Stephen. Oh. Stephen needs the mask. All right, good lad. Good lad. Thank you. Right. Uh, and of course, the door mouse makers. You'll have to take those off too. He'll need those. I'm not wearing the pants, mate. Jesus Christ. Sorry, Stephen. No one needs this. Get out of here once. Pull your knickers up and get out. You don't wear pants underneath your superhero pants. You look disgusted. I'm disgusted. Right, I could stand here all day and talk about how disgusting Sid Lowcroft is. But we got a turn, mate. We need a crash. The crime buffet is open, and I'm ordering a Justice Burger for two with a side order of kick ass. Next up, suspect Dur, local reporter Beyonce. BTW Dur is French for two. We are investigating the recent horrific murder of our police commissioner, Bear Grylls. I believe you are writing a story on him. That's right. Uh, what did you find out about him? Well, I know he wasn't the white knight everyone said he was. He was a good man. Too good for this crummy city, right? But you know what? The police in this town, you know, they just get fat, polishing their badges and they're picking up their bribe money. But at least we got Rat Man. Well, you like Rat Man, huh? I've heard about him, Rat Man. Yeah, he, what did you hear about him? 
I've heard he's got an incredible new partner. Well, I'm not sure about that. I think that Ratman's still the cooler of the two, right? Would you say that Ratman's cooler than Domas, from what you've heard? Not from what I've heard. Well, <laughs> I think you'll find that. I think you'll find Ratman's the leader of the two of them. Oh, believe me, I'm still a huge, huge fan of Ratman. Oh. oh, just you know, given his life for the city. Now there's a real hero. You know what? Makes me want to rip off his mask and all the rest of it. <clears throat> well. Pretty interesting. Can I just have a talk to my colleague for a sure, second? Sure, go ahead. Hey, Stephen. Stephen, come here at once. Oh, God. Oh, sweet God. She's not worth it. She is worth it. And I think if she knew I was a rap man, she'd have sex with me. And I'm fucking done at it, you're rap man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about Stephen. He's just thinking of buying a new car. Yeah. So, yeah. He laughed at me because I was going to buy Prius. Uh. <laughs> and I'm a vegan. Yeah, he's a vegan too. So am I. Oh. We have so much in common. <laughs> I'm a vegan as well. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a great vegan, vegan place. Oh, yeah. I'm a vegan you too. You were in Burger this morning. <laughs> I didn't. I was joking. I'm a vegan as well. I'm a vegan too. You were eating a burger this morning. You, you had double patty. I'm a vegan. No, from now, now, I'm a vegan. Just started now. <clears throat> I just have a few questions about the case to ask. Okay. What would you do if you ever met the red man? I'd whisper in his ear. What would you whisper? I'd whisper this. <laughs> what? You do that? <clears throat> Is it hot in here? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's getting hot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I'm going to excuse myself. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, I think I parked on a double yellow line. Yeah, in a police car. You're not going to get a ticket, are you? <laughs> I might. Can you write to ask questions? Yep. Great. I'll okay. take care of it. You go take care of yourself. Okay. Oh. I'll be as quick as I can. I'll see you in a minute. It's okay. So, um, do you have any questions for me? Yeah, we're investigating the death of, of the late and, and great Commissioner Grills, and I was wondering what you knew about him. Okay. So, check this. These are the facts on Commissioner Grills. Rookie PC Grills to blame. Woman dies in botched police operation. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so you, you boys are looking for the termite, right? Yeah, what do you know about the termite? Okay, well, so I was writing a feature on him, called it The Man Behind the Mask. This is his police file. Take a look. Nothing. See what you did there? It takes someone who's very powerful to delete their history, you know? Or someone who's high up in the police, let's say. What are you suggesting? <laughs> you know, everybody has their secrets. I could be the termite, you know? You could be could the termite. Be, you could be, I'm the termite, you know? I mean, I could be just about to gut you like a fish and just leave you here dead on the floor with all the dust and all the newspapers and all that shit. Someone call for a rap man. Uh, why, why didn't you use the door? I use the window because it's cooler that way. Okay. <laughs> I believe that you... Have a crush on me? Um, I may do, yes. Well, <laughs> listen, when you need me, look towards the sky. Oh, I thought that was going to slide. And I'll be there. Oh, I will. You'll definitely be seeing me around, Red Man. Not if you see me first. <laughs> God. Thank you, Red Man. Nice kiss. It's crime fighting time. Stephen to the other side of the room at once. The final chapter of the story of death and destruction. Our last suspect, Chief Ramsey. Ramsey. See what we can find out. Behind you, there's a chest of drawers. Find what you can. What my... Oh, oh, wait a minute. What? There's a load of cards that say... Wait there, I'm coming over. A 
didn't really feel like that was much of a... That didn't really. It, yeah. No, I banged my knee on the desk. Are you OK? I'm fine. I'm seriously OK. All right, I'm just worried. How would you hurt yourself? These will say the termite, which leads me to believe, perhaps, as Grills gave me two pieces of paper. One was one of these cards. Yes. And we found them in Ramsey's office. This is my thinking superior face. But has he been set up? Yes, indeed. I think you look like you're thinking. Exactly, right? Yes. Pensive. Indeed. Perfect. With uh, my rat senses, tell me someone is coming. Quick. We must hide. It's going to be Ramsey. All right, right behind my cloak of invincibility. Actually, invisibility. Ah, God. Well, well, well. Look what the rat tracked in. Right, man. What are you doing here? I'm gnawing away at the hay bale of crime. Wow. Well, I must say I'm, uh, I'm impressed and terrified by you two. How about these dice? We've all been looking for the termite, but where better for the termite to hide than in the very halls of the people trying to hunt him and the man that's sending out the hunters? That's good. That's really, really, really good. Great police work. It's ridiculous. Preposterous. Really? Yes, it is. Really? Where's your proof? What have you got to say about these cards? I don't have to stand here and answer these questions. Yes, you, yes, do. you do. No, I don't. Yes, yes you, you do. do. No, I don't. Yes, yes you, you do. do. 25 years in the force. And what have I got to show for a day? Were you a chief? I'm not commissioner, though, am I? Tormouse, I uh, sometimes feel that I'm all alone in a world of chaos except for one man who... <sighs> Who, well, Sleet. What? Yeah, there's a guy called Sleet. He he's works for me and he's... Well, he's... He's a good man. <laughs> Sleet's a good man. He doesn't need a mask to fight crime. He just does it. He doesn't need a big stinking rat costume and his own personal gimp. Why don't you tell him this to his face? I think he knows. He has no idea. No idea that you think all these things about him. He thinks you hate him, you know. Actually, did you hate him? Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe in my own little way, I'm trying to protect him. Because people who get close to me end up dead a lot of the time. Who else close to you has died? Great question. A lot of policemen. Those cards you're holding there, yes? Mm. Every single one of those cards was found on the body of a dead policeman who was killed by the termites. I'm too close to this one. Grill him like I can't. I don't believe you. The termite is not responsible for this many deaths yet. Oh, yes, he is, mm, my friend. Well, how would you know? You fancy yourself as a superhero. Superhero? Not You're not a superhero. Detective. I'm a bucking superhero. Well, fly, then. I don't need to fly. Fly? I don't need to fly. Ratman's a superhero, and he doesn't fly. You remind me of somebody. That's Have we met that. before? We've never met before. Dormouse, heal! Heal, sweet Dormouse. You two are... What is the relationship between you two? We are friends. Oh, yeah? Seems a bit kinky to me, boys. It's not kinky. It's friendship. You wouldn't understand, because you ain't never had a friend in your whole life. And how about this is the kicker? You couldn't take it. You couldn't take it a second. So what happens? You don't get the job, so you kill for it. Let me tell you something. I have witnessed what the termite can do, and I will never, ever, ever let that happen to one of my men again. Easy now, Ramsey. Really. Yeah, come on, you feel big? Easy. Yeah, come on, big boy. Blinding dust! Blinding dust! Blinding dust! Blinding dust! Have you got any things in your belt? I can't see my belt. What are you doing? Do you wait to Give see what's a... coming next. Oh, fuck me. What is this? Blinding, blinding dog poo bag. Blinding pistachio nutshells. Are you blind yet? No. Can you still see? Yeah. Blinding pistachio nutshells. All right, boys. Um, listen, I have got a lot of work to do. Uh, maybe you could just, yeah, fuck blinding off. Blinding pistachio shells. Yeah. Can How you are just, you now? Can you you can't off? see us. Blind. Guys, come on. Blind. 
Chop, chop. Come on, Come let's on. go, Thomas. You might get a last pint if you go quickly. It was time to finish this. Using my rat signal, I enticed a termite to a local shoe buckle factory. Are you scared, Stephen? I'm not scared, I'm prepared. <laughs> it's not me. Oh. It's the termite. He's here. <laughs> Stephen Domas. Stephen Domas. 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 Commissioner Grills! I saw you die! I had to do it. I had to pretend that I was dead. Nobody could know. The only way to catch the termite was to flush them out. I'm emotionally scarred. You're the first person I ever saw die. Well, now you've never seen anyone die. I'm, I'm happy. I'm glad to see you back. The doormat found out who the termite was. He took them down. Who do you think the termite is? That nasty journalist we met, Beyonce. Why? She had motive. She didn't like the police for something that she believed that you did earlier on in your career. And she was a psycho. She told me she would gut me like a fish and leave me all over a dirty floor, which, by the way, was really dirty. Shall we unmask them? Please, don't be Beyonce. to do. I have such mixed emotions right now. I'm gonna get you, rat man. <laughs> well, I can safely say I don't want to have sex with this anymore. Congratulations. Of course it was Beyonce. Your instincts were correct. Pierce Morgan told you that the termite's mother had died. Mother killed in a botched police operation. And of course, that meant that it was Beyonce because she had an R.I.P. mum tattoo. I killed her mother and she never forgave me. Rocky PC grills to blame. Woman dies in botched police operation. Mm -hmm. And it couldn't have been Pierce. I haven't laughed my entire life. And the termite has a distinctive laugh. And it couldn't have been Ramsey because his mother is still alive. Mm. Right, really mm. brings it Just out. like my mother makes it. And he's a good bloke. And he's a very good bloke. He's an angry bloke. He's angry, but you know, look, we all have issues. Dormas, you have been the greatest of sidekicks. You've been there when I needed you most. You never questioned me. You were the fire in my guts. That's why I can't let you make this journey with me anymore. I must fight this fight alone. One last thing. Yes. Who are you? I can't tell you that, Commissioner. <laughs> 